Hey guys, this is Zone Productions, aka Nano4673, and I am back in Asher Part 2. And yay, webcam video! Uh, <laughs> I do apologize for looking ever so slightly like crap. Can't help it. <laughs> um, yeah, and the lighting is awful, but let's just continue with this. It was an unusually warm autumn day, which Tetrin took as a good omen. She decided to eat her lunch outside. Excuse me? Yes, what is it? Uh, this is my associate, Aya Gabriel. I, uh, what is this about, uh, madam? Really, I was not acquainted with this, uh, woman. She only came to look for the book! Do you know what sort of book it was? No, I do not. The two fell silent for a moment, and Tetrian couldn't help but be very aware of how quiet and deserted the area was. Would you come with us for a spell, Miss Raish? I would rather not. Uh, don't scream now. Uh, don't scream now. We won't, don't want to be forced to hurt you. Fight! <laughs> Safe's coming. That's what we're gonna do. That's how I work. Fight! <laughs> Unfortunately, Tetran had never thrown so much as a punch in her entire life, but all she uh, needed to do was get past them, she hoped. Uh oh. What did I do to deserve this? Shut up. You're sure you saw her with Miss. You sure you saw her with Miss Cavlov? Calav, as in Calavolvini? Yes, of course, this comedy of errors that seemed to be her new life simply would not be complete without a mythical demon queen thrown in the mix. I told you she was human. No kidding, I could snap a wrist easy. No meat on it, uh, on nothing on her. Please tell me what's going on. Do not attract attention and we'll see you safely home. And without a hair astray in that pretty little head. Julius and Aya led her to, the, to a car. By that time, Tetran's pulse was racing, but there was little she could do. As she was nearly deserted this time of year, there was no one in sight as they left the city behind. This is so cool! They were well outskirts of Asher, almost at the Oru's border, when Julius brought the car to a halt. Are you one of them? I don't know what you mean. You handled her without any trouble. Don't uh, mean she ain't playing along or something. If she were one of them, she might have decided to tag along, see where we went, and then cut think, Aya. With, uh, with her, we could be very wealthy in a short amount of time. Sure thing, boss. Yeah, definitely very shady people. They found the ruins located in a field just outside the woods. Tetran wondered if this was one part of our city since it was so close to the border. Julius insisted that she go first. So I'm your cannery too? Nothing here to hurt you, doll face. You're, you're just leading the way. The way down into the ruins uh, was dark and narrow as they drew deeper into the tunnel. Uh, the, and as they drew deeper into the tunnel, the blackness became nearly total. Tetran could hear Aya fumbling with the lamp whose light barely illuminated their way. Tetran could just make out paintings on the wall when her hand brushed against it. it had an almost clammy feel of cold plaster or limestone. The air was cool and slightly damp, reminding her of a cave. No! No, no, please! What's wrong with her, Aya? Grab the lamp, why don't you? I can't see what you- I don't see what you're so upset for, girl. Aya brought the lamp closer. The fresco uh, goes on the walls were almo almost seemed to come to life, but Tetrian was too distressed to admire them. All you think of was the legend surrounding the Empress, namely the ones where she was said to avenge herself on enemies long after her death, 
and nobody knew what had really become of the Empress's shadow. What if there were demons among them? Couldn't the Empress's shadow still be alive? Maybe that's the 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 the, the, the lady, I can't remember her name, Callus? Something that direction. <laughs> And it's sacred, so kill us. Oh, is native, I take it. I wondered about your accent. A lot of you are remarkably superstitious. Get her up. I grunted as at Tetrin's weight as the young woman slid in on to the ground. When she takes her heels, she sure is heavy, boss. I'll try. No! This race is a bunch of ruins. The Empress is dead, and while she may have won at one point been uh, long-lived and a demon, she was never immortal and certainly is gone now. Now get up. Empress, forgive me. They passed through the rooms for a time uh, in silence. Saw them uh, festivals in Arrows once, lots of people crying and lighting candles. It's for the students who died, begging to the Empress to stop killing more people of the thick. She separated their souls from their bodies with a word and sent them astray. They can't come home unless the candle guides them. Fairy tales. Let's go. The marks were scattered everywhere on floors and walls, but one in particular in but in one particular passageway, Tetrin finally understood why Ida and Julius wanted her assistance. The marks could hide doors. Do we go in here? Oh, she sounds so pitiful. <laughs> I didn't mean to sound that pitiful. I just, I've forgotten her voice. She was curious whether or not Julius could see the faint outline of the door, or if her sight was truly valuable. Where? She reached out to touch the marks that hit the door, wondering whether or not Julius would believe her if she told him what she saw. The, he did want her for these dubious abilities of her, didn't he? Shut up, though. But at her touch, the marks disappeared, and the door solidified. Gods above, would you look at that? Good work. I think I am... Yeah, this is the miss, Gabriel. Gods above, would you look at that? Good work. Julius jingled the knob. Jiggled, jiggled the knob. The handle gave away with an eerie ease that Tetrin did not find encouraging. Well, looky here. Oh god, it's the corridor. I keep dreaming about this place. Oh? At the end of the hall, Tetrin could see light through an open door. Once again, she was reminded of her dream. I think this is a bad idea. How come there is a light here? It's a very bad idea. You ought to get back while you can, Dove. Tetrin turned suddenly, but there was nobody there, and Aya and Julius didn't seem to have heard it. Surely they would react if they had. Those marks you can see uh, make light as well as you can see can make light as light as well as doors. It's to be expected in a place like this. What about traps, jewels? Not you too, I dear. People came and went all the time when the palace was in use, and there would be no need for traps then. After the fire, it was buried. It is possible that this uh, this was Cytus' tomb, but she has pal had palaces in Aurors and Vesic. Either could be the location of her final resting place. As they neared the chamber, Tetrin slowed her steps. The captors did not notice her reluctance, but seemed eager for whatever reward they imagined could be found here. She watched as Julius uh, paused to pocket a small portrait and waited until she saw them disappear into the lit chamber, the lit chamber, and expected her to believe that it was natural after all this time. If they met their end, they certainly deserved it. She began to turn to go. Her yelp of surprise was quickly muffled. <laughs> she knew she hadn't been imagining that voice. Overconfidence, dear heart, is the most popular and widely accepted poison of choice. Right. Are you really colorful, Benny? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. I am... Sorry, madam, I'm fresh out of terror today. Would you like me to telephone you when I have more in stock? The woman just ignored her. She seemed intent on something. Wouldn't be long now. 
It looks like they're already past the threshold. Come, look, tell me what you see. Is it different from what you would see? Yes. Tetrin inched forward and peered through the door. She fully expected to see the vision from her dream, but instead was greeted with a somewhat different scene. The pale empress, empress laid crumbled in her folds of robes and a circle marked uh, of marks surrounded her, even making their uh, way onto the walls. Already Aya and Julius uh, stood past this circle, but Tetrin saw no sign of the empress's shadow. Don't they see the empress there? Tell me what you see. I see the Empress. I think she's holding a knife. Aye, the one that slew her so many years ago. I was there. It was the old one that betrayed her, as I knew he would. The old one? Uh, haven't you learned by now not to ask questions? Not to you, maybe. I suppose I have learned not to ask you questions. It's a start. Excuse me. Now hush, you don't want to miss this. Was that really the Empress? Only what was left behind, a spirit clinging to the world, mindless and mad. But I say hush. Tetrin fell silent. Aya set her lamp down and picked up something with debris on the floor in the em Empress's chamber. Neither seemed to see the Empress in her dusty bed on the far side of the room. I didn't know these were real. A bona fide, a bona fitted genie bottle. Reckon there's really something in it? I doubt it. All that matters is it uh, is it's authentic. Don't break the original seal, I could lose its value. What if there's really a gin, though? It's not worth the risk. I'm inclined to believe there's nothing there. I have put the bottle away. Besides Tetrin, Kevlin, Smirk. Calavel, Calavel. Kavlin is so much easier to say. Calavel. Calville. Calavel. Oh, God. Now, unlike a dearly, de dearly departed empress, her shadow is real. What is the shadow going to do? Just watch. Hey, Jules, what is that? Seeing shadows, Aya. Oh, God, that's creepy. Well, a shadow, but I can't make heads or tails of it. The devil! Holy shit. What is it? Some trick of the light? Now who's uh, tilting that shadow is what you uh, get the piece out for? Can't you do something? <laughs> Silly ducklings. They'll never remember their fairy tales. All they have to do is cross the circle to be safe. Julius crossed the- You damned do-gooder. They may have snuffed you out after you helped them with their little treasure hunt and you want to rescue them. Your conscience is not worth the trouble they are to me and you are equally well rid of them. Tetrin heard the scramble in their other room and shuddered. Get out of here. Act two. This- that was really creepy. And uh, tis cheerboard nights and days, where destiny of men for peace is placed. Hither and fi fi thither moves and mates and slays, and the one by and one by one back in the closet stay lays. Hmm. Okay. Tetrin made her way through the palace, alone in the dark. All she had to gather was the faintly glowing uh, nail marks scattered throughout the ruins. She made pain a painfully slow progress into the late afternoon light. Tetrin found the motor car, but she never learned how to operate one herself. She searched it in case there was something useful to be found. Huh. She found a metal bottle in the back which was proved to contain, she supposed she shouldn't be surprised, alcohol. Prohibition had never fully lifted uh, since the Empress rule, and since brewing liquor was illegal, one never knew uh, whether one was getting a simple homemade brew or coffee varnish. Tetrin was neither desperate nor thirsty enough to risk it. She abandoned the car and followed along the road. It will be all right. I think I take this road leads. I think this road leads straight to the city, and I can take the bus or taxi. There was a soft rustle and the sh sharp crack of a trick. She whirled. 
I didn't have to make any noise, but I thought I would startle you less that way. Oh well. I'm just... jumpy. Oh. Something about him made her uneasy, and it wasn't the fact that she was a lone woman on the road and he a strange man. Who are you? Marcus Nathan at your service. You and you are Miss Rach. That's me. I cannot pronounce any name. Like Marcus. Marcus is a nice name. I can pronounce it. <laughs> That's me. Lately it seems like everybody knows me, and I don't know anybody. I imagine that's rather frustrating. It is? Well, it was very nice meeting you, but I have to go. You're safe. The Shadow cannot leave the tomb, and her children will not rise until some time later in the night. She froze. Well, that was how she knew her name. She thought, if he knew about the Shadow, perhaps he was with Caliber. Then she thought of uh, Kylie and her dark, liquid eyes. If there had been a mind behind those eyes, she hadn't glimpsed it. What if you're wrong? It's possible. Sometimes they rise early. When they, uh, then they will rip you to pieces if they catch you. The first hunger is always the worst. Gods. Hence, Calibre's asking me here. How do you know all of this? Are you a demon too? Did you come here with her? There are many kinds of demons. And yes. That first part wasn't an answer. You and he only sm smiled at her, she said. Why can't the shadow leave? Why can't the Empress Shadow leave? Did you see the marks in the Empress's bedchamber? Yes, they were all over. Short after her death, a magician who could see them now as you uh do wove marks into the who could see the nail as you do wove marks into the chamber to trap the shadow there. I think that that sentence needed a comma or two. <laughs> Maybe. I, I suck at comments, so I wouldn't know. It was just a little... A little... What's that? Difficult. How do you know I can read the now? Did Calibre tell you? I've known longer than she has, dear. She was about to ask what he meant by that, but he continued on without giving her a chance to speak. Kylie had been mourning for weeks at that point, and without the Empress's direction, she was easy enough to trap. Why hasn't she died of... starvation? She's hard to kill. The occasional fool stumbling into the ruins has been enough to sustain her so far. And these days, there are more fools. So how did you get here? Did you drive? I was walking, in a manner of speaking. There was... Uh, there went the hope that she could get a ride back to the city. I am... sure you're right about the Shadow, but I really don't want to stay here. I should get going. We have time. For what? To waste. We can talk until sunset. I could take you home now, but it would be unnecessarily tax would unnecessarily tax my reverses. Once night falls, I will take you home. How? This was sounding more and more dubious. Through the now. I didn't know it was possible to travel through the now. If you happen to be me, it is. So you can travel through the now. Does that mean you can also see the marks like I can? Yes. Something nagged her, a detail that wanted to click into place. What connection do you have to Calavelle exactly? I help her, when it suits me, by finding things she cannot, because I can see what she cannot. So I include leaving books for her to find in my library. Indeed, you found me out. So you're the one who got me into this fix. My dear, that's hardly fair. She only had to wait a day or two for my return to Asher. It was her impatience that got you into, into difficulty. But I think it will turn all right in the end. How do you know that? He only smiled. <laughs> she wanted to come, me to, uh, to come and rescue you. She didn't mean to get you make to get you mixed up with their ilk. Ilk. Who used that word anymore? Fine. So will you explain to me what is going on? Would you like some answers? Yes, I... What the fuck are you? I am from the Nathias line, like Saitab was before her er, uh, was before her line was corrupted. We are hard to kill. Some people would say immortal. Related to Saitab? 
Not perhaps in the way you're thinking. But you all are demons, aren't you? He only shrugged as if to say, isn't it obvious? What does it mean when a lion corrupts? Saita stole her immortality from Nathias, who cursed her. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little, I'm, I won't say sick, maybe like slightly sick, like I've got a sore throat and my nose is all stuffed and I can't smell anything. Saito stole her immortality from Nathias, who cursed her. The effects of the curse are unpredictable, but one result of it was the shadows and those like her. What is wrong with the shadow? When the Empress was alive, Kylie was a puppet. After her death, it's hard to say, but I still don't believe her mind is her own. The hunger is worse for the shadow and her children. They shun the daylight, and when they rest, they die. Their hearts stop, their breath cease. What are the mics for? They have various uses. The Empress got rid of most uh, mortals who could see them, one way or another. That didn't really answer her question. So what happens next? What happens next? I take you home. Your life returns to normal. Really? Is that easy? Should be. I will tell you where to find Calavo if you are troubled again, but I would be cautious before asking for her help. Although she liked Calavo, she agreed with him on this, she, and while she was unsure of his, his reasons for suggesting that she avoid accepting Calavo's help, she knew hers. She didn't like owning people. Alright. It's nearly time. Time to go, my dear. Oh, but where are we going? Don't you want to go home? He took her by the arm. Yes? Then now, he was actually standing before that very river. It was it real? It didn't feel like a dream, but it wasn't possible to visit the now. Are we... is this? Yes. But... It isn't wise to linger here. Come along, we're nearly there. Right, Calibur's house is the big empress area, uh, place on Skilla Street. This time of year you can spot it by the garden, which is always green. If you're ever in trouble, come for a visit. Oh, I know it. I always thought it was named after Calibur Vene. I supposed it never supposed it belonged to her. Impossible to miss now. I suppose so. I hope things will just go back to normal. Wonderful, dear. But he sounded distracted. Such an recognized Skeller Street, the old house did not look like it had been around since the Empress' time. Ah, oh, he just bailed on us. Ah, oh, classic, classic trick in the book. Is she really Calibel, the one who served the Empress? Oh, ha, <laughs> knew it. 320 Dana Street, oh well. The walk to her apartment seemed to take longer than usual. She was exhausted from the day's events. She fell asleep as nearly, nearly as soon as she rested on her couch. Read the Asher post. Sure. Um, Asher City Marisita production applauded by Last Living Descended playwright Virgil. Rivalry between city states. Okay, done. I am going to end the episode here. I will see you in the next one. I hope you're enjoying this series. I am. I think it's a very fun uh, little thing. Uh, it's so much effort in like with animations and all the like the different character poses and expressions. So much is put into this game. Like it's very pretty. Uh, and I like the feel and the music it has. It's very interesting. Uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.